Hello YouTubers. So today I'm going to make a whole turkey cooked in a crock pot. Um, now this is going to be gluten free as I would normally add teriyaki sauce, but uh, today I'm not. So that being said, I'm going to start with some butter. And I like Fair amount of butter in my uh, a couple different sides. And that's gonna be for the turkey and the potatoes I'm gonna put with it. So it's not just for a bunch of turkey for or uh, butter for the turkey. So <clears throat> next put some onion, and these are sweet onion, I'm going to put it into the cavity, I'm also going to put carrot, and a bunch of celery, Now I'm just going to start putting stuff on the side, maybe a potato in there too. Because there's not a ton of space because it's a crock pot. I'm just going to start filling it up. Now this is one whole onion. And that's because I like onion. And whole onion because, or uh, very large pieces of it, that's going to be in there for eight to nine hours, give or take. Now, I'm going to put some <clears throat> rosemary, some thyme, Garlic, lots of garlic, and crush the ground black corn mix, black pepper corn mix. Okay, now I personally like to add a little bit of lime. Not worried about overpowering, but I do need enough to get the taste. And some chicken broth. Now, what I would normally do if I'm going to make this not on Thanksgiving, is I would just throw it in when I got up in the morning and let it cook pretty much all day. Because once it's uh, done cooking, you can just leave it on warm till you're ready to eat. And there you have it. I don't want to cover up the whole thing. Uh, now, what this will do is not allow the skin to get crispy, but the trade-off is this meat is super tender, super moist, and just, just out of this world. Okay, we'll check back on it in about uh, eight or nine hours. Okay, let's take a look at this. And there you have it.
Crock-Pot Turkey.